Pikes Peak in the state of Colorado is one of the most famous summits in the United States of America. Located in the Rocky Mountains, its official elevation is 14,115 feet above sea level. Stack roughly 1,400 elephants on top of each other, and you're there. While we could get stuck on the impressive physical statistics of Pikes Peak, today we're going to focus on how this massive mountain has played a huge role in U.S. history. Welcome to That Was History, I'm your host Cliff Langston. So, how exactly has Pikes Peak contributed to U.S. history? There are so many ways to answer this question, but let's just focus in on some of the highlights. Kicking off our list, the Ute Native American tribe believed that the Great Spirit created the entire world from Pikes Peak's location and formed the mountain by pouring ice and snow through a hole in the sky. While we know this not to be true today, that's a pretty impressive title to have held. In 1803, President Thomas Jefferson completed the Louisiana Purchase. The United States paid France roughly $15 million to acquire approximately 828,000 square miles of land known as the Louisiana Territory. Pikes Peak was included in that purchase, officially making it part of the United States. Three short years later, President Jefferson sent out explorers to survey the land that he had purchased. The famous Lewis and Clark expedition headed out towards the northwestern part of the territory, and another party led by Lieutenant Zebulon Montgomery Pike was sent to explore the southern region. As you might recognize, Lieutenant Pike is the individual from which Pikes Peak gets its name. The mountain was named James Peak for roughly 20 years between 1820 and 1840 due to the fact that Dr. Edwin James was the first recorded person to reach the summit in 1820. Dr. James' contribution did not stop there, however, as he also made notes and provided examples of undiscovered plants and flowers, including Colorado's state flower, the Blue Columbine. In 1840, the official name was declared Pikes Peak since Zebulon Pike was the first American to document the mountain. By the late 1850s, Pikes Peak had become an icon among gold seekers who were trying to strike it rich during the Colorado Gold Rush. This time in history was also known as the Pikes Peak Gold Rush, and the phrase, Pikes Peak or Bust, was often seen on wagons traveling towards the region. Julia Archibald Holmes became the first recorded woman to reach the summit in 1858. We've covered this story in another That Was History video, so we'll provide links in the description and in this video for you to check that one out as well. On October 11th of 1873, the Pikes Peak Weather Observatory was officially dedicated. It was determined that this location would make the perfect spot to conduct research on atmospheric phenomenon and its relationship to weather and forecasting. The late 1800s were also great years for Colorado tourism due to the opening of the first road up Pikes Peak and the completion of the Cog Road that allowed a locomotive to carry tourists to the summit. If you ever get a chance to visit Pikes Peak yourself, you'll have to give their world-famous donuts a try. This tradition started back in 1889 when the mayor of Manitou Springs, Dr. Alfred G. Lewis, began selling donuts and coffee to tourists. Perhaps most famous on this list is this next one. Catherine Lee Bates visited Pikes Peak in 1893 and wrote in her journal, We stood at last on the gate of heaven's summit and gazed in wordless rapture over the far expanse of mountain ranges and the sea-like sweep of plain. Bates would use similar wording in a poem that she published a few years later that we now recognize as America the Beautiful. The Anglo-American Pikes Peak Expedition of 1911 that included these men and lady observed and tested tourists complaining of acute mountain sickness. I can attest to this one. It really doesn't take much to throw your body off its game if you aren't accustomed to that altitude. I had to pace myself at just walking around to avoid feeling nauseous. In 1916, Spencer Penrose sponsored an auto and motorcycle race up Pikes Peak to promote further tourism for the area. This race continues to this day and is known as the Pikes Peak International Hill Climb. That same year, the mountain became a part of the women's rights movement when 30 women planted a large purple, white, and gold banner to bring awareness to the Susan B. Anthony Amendment. Improvements continued throughout the early 1900s to help strengthen tourism, and by 1963, Pikes Peak had become become a national historic landmark. Since then, the area around the mountain has continued to evolve. Ski areas have come and gone, reservoirs and hiking trails have been opened, and bicycling has been approved. 
One fun fact that is most surprising is that the full length of the Pikes Peak Highway was not completely paved top to bottom until 2011. To put this into perspective for you, the first six miles were paved in the 1950s. Talk about a long project. Hopefully our list has shown you just how important Pikes Peak really is to US history. What were you most surprised by in this video? Was it the Pikes Peak Gold Rush? Maybe the inspiration for America the Beautiful? Or something else entirely? I really enjoyed the bit about Pikes Peak or Bust. Let me see your answers in the comments section down below. I also want to encourage you to check out these other videos from That Was History. And if we've earned your vote, I'd love for you to join our community by hitting that subscribe button. As always, I'm Cliff Langston, and thanks for watching.